What's going on, people? Um, it's me, your boy, Steph Nasty from the award-winning production team, The Beat Banging. So this is my year-end review for 2010. Um, I did my first one last year. I thought it was pretty cool. People got a chance to see, you know, an overview, I guess, of the things that we accomplished in 2009. So starting out, one of the ma most amazing things that have happened this year are um, my daughter. I gave birth to my, I didn't give birth, but my daughter, Eliana Otto Valdez Reed was born on May 6th, and uh, it was just amazing. It was an emotional time, and, you know, it's just a, really a blessing because her birthday was May 6th, and, you know, for those of you don't, that don't know, May 6th is actually National Prayer Day, and Eliana means answered prayer. So that's just like, you know, it's a super cool thing. It's, I'm totally in love with her, and I'm just grateful. And, you know, God bless me and my girlfriend Tiffany with a daughter. I've always wanted a daughter, and now I have one. So that was just, you know, a great moment in a memory of, 2010. So that's one. I made my artistic debut. It's just been so successful. I'm just really, I'm just shocked, you know, just by the power of just believing in yourself and following a dream and just really following through with just things that you put into action, you know. I've done, you know, remixes to popular hip hop songs. And I think it would be really cool to kind of just take those songs and put my spin, like an R&B remix, because I'm an R&B type of guy. So I did, um, Beaver Benzer Bentley by Lloyd Banks featuring the commission. That was really fun. I had a great time doing that. Um, the next one was Find Your Love by Drake. Mine was called Music. I just thought it would be really cool to have a, a love song to music, to actually the thing to the music. You know what I'm saying? To someone like how Music Soul Child had love and he was singing to love itself. You know, that was just really cool. Anyway, um, it was featuring Jaden The Cure and a uh, Grammy winning singer and songwriter um, Gordon Chambers got on the record. I'm a starting out artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm just really getting my feet wet with being an artist. And to have someone like him, a Grammy-winning artist, songwriter, to be featured on my song, a remix nonetheless, is just, wow. It was amazing. And the last one was Loving You No More, Diddy, Dirty Money, and Drake. It had been leaked, you know, before it was actually commercially released. And I heard it, and I was just going through some personal issues, you know, in my, in my love life. And I just, I needed a way to just kind of vent, you know, and just just deal with what I was going through. So I called um, my protege, Chrissy Love, and I said, listen, Chrissy, I got this really great idea to remix this record. You want to get on it with me? And she said, yeah, she was, she was really down with my idea. I, I, you know, I told her exactly what I was thinking, and she got on it, and it was, a, it was an amazing, amazing success. As an artist, you know, it's really crazy because I was featured on a lot of blogs and websites. Um, and, and, you know, when you're an artist, it's really hard to get opportunities. It just seems like the, the market's so saturated. It just seems like everybody's doing what you do, so it's like really hard to stand out. I was featured on some really cool blogs and websites, including uh, Digiwax, um, Black Planet, you know, with The Dream and Trina, uh, R&B Exclusive, The Next to Shine, Music Exclusives, I Standard Producers, That Piff, and that's just to name a few. Now, when you're established for one thing, like for me, it's music production and songwriting, so people know me for that and are, you know, they're more open to featuring my work that I produce for the people. But when I'm bringing them records that I've done myself and I'm the artist, it's, a, it's, it's really taking a risk. And I really appreciate those that people that, that took the risk and featured my work. Thank you so much. So I've also got some amazing cosigns from radio people. Radio is still such a powerful medium, you know. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform that mostly signed artists only get access to. But, you know, I've had cosigns from people like Little Mo and Angela Yee and just... DJ Enough, DJ Bedtime, Javon The Last Don, DJ Desires, it's just, and it's really powerful because it's like, to know that people will get behind your idea, it really shows you what you can do if you put your mind to it, you know? As an artist, my songs have also been featured on mixtape by DJ Spazzo, DJ, um, DJ Double XL, shout out to them. Also, you know, it's really cool because I got featured on so many radio stations and, you know, as, again, as a new artist, because I am a new artist. I'm still working on my artistry. It's something that I'm developing and I, I want to become great. I'm working towards greatness. I think I'm all right now, but I think there's so much room for growth that I'm going to be great at some point, you know. But just to have support from, you know, Power 105 FM, Hot 97 FM, you know, Shade 45, Sirius Satellite Radio, WPGC 95.5 FM, Goom Radio, um, 1FM Jams, Hate Money Radio, DTF Radio, WBMB Radio, The Kempire Radio, WKRB 90.3 FM. It's just, and that's, and that's a small list, honestly. Like, I don't want to brag, but that's a small list of um, 
radio stations that have featured, you know, my my songs as an artist, as well as songs I've produced, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's mainstream radio, that's satellite radio, and that's college radio, as well as blog radio, blog talk radio. I started my first music video. Um, I just said, you know, I was inspired by uh, by Lady and the Tramp production team. It was like, Steph, you know, you should have did a video, you know, for, for, for uh, your loving, for, um, you should have did a video for your... Uh, Find Your Love remix with Gordon Chambers and Jaden. Like, how big would it that you know? How big would it would that have been? And I was like, well, I'm not signed, and you know, I don't know. It's not really a real song. It's like, they was like, forget about all that. You should have done a re just do a video. You still could, you know. That's the power of of, of music. You can, that inspired me. I said, you know what? I need to think bigger. I definitely need to think bigger. So I did a, a music video for uh, for Loving You No More, the R&B remix that I did, and called up my good friend Dirty South Yankee, and I said, listen, Dirty, um. I know you're because she's a you know she's a popular photographer. But I was like you know dirty. Um, I want to do a music video. Would you would you be down to help? And she's always been down. She said, well I guess you know I've never done it, but I, if I I guess I could in theory. I was like all right cool. I want to shoot a video. So um, at first I was gonna do it with my digital camera and she holds it and, you know and then it turned into she ended up getting a camera from somebody else I believe borrowing it and we like did it guerrilla style like all through. Times Square, South Street Seaport, all in a location in New York City, and just we just went out all out. Shout out to Charlie Z, who actually he he, he edited the Beamer Benz of Bentley video. Ironically, I remixed that song. He ended up editing um, my video, you know, my first official video. Shout out to Heart of the City Clothing Line for sponsoring us and as well as styling us with just amazing clothes. God bless them. They're the ones who had the heart, the heart. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing the right heart, <laughs> the heart um, designs in in the video. That's all heart of the city, so check them out. Became number one artist globally of all genres on ReverbNation.com. I beat like people like Shaka Khan and Jay Sean and just all these amazingly ACDC. Like that was just powerful to me and it showed me again the power of the internet and just the power of marketing and just really getting connecting with your fans, you know, and getting them to get behind you. It's anything can get done with with you know the strength in numbers. Drawzilla and I. Producer Drawzilla, we did a remix to, to uh, Fancy by Drake. Um, and we actually got Kel Spencer, you know, talented hip hop artist to get on that. And that was really cool, because I always liked that song. Did music production for Lisa Levine and Alpha Cat um, for their videos. You know, they do a lot of, well, Alpha Cat does a lot of, you know, video spoofs and, you know, things like that. Grenade um, by Lisa, uh, Find Your Love by Alpha Cat, What's My Name, Fancy, Speakers Going Hammer. Did, did music production for all those videos, and that was just so awesome because they get a million a million views on a bad day, you know. So just to, they're, they're, and they're amazingly talented, you know. Just to come up with the material that they do and to be a part of their movement, it, to me, it's it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a blessing to always be a part of a great movement and work with talented people. I launched my apprentice program and it was extremely successful. Um, shout out to Mark C. That's my apprentice, and I've been mentoring him for the past year. Um, he's grown so much, you know, he's in college and he's studying music. He wants to be a producer and I've been just, 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 just mentoring him on how to market your music and promote your music and how to mix your sounds and, you know, how to arrange your beats and, you know, write songs and just all the different aspects of, of just being a musician. You know, I've just been mentoring him on all these different things and he's grown so much and just to see him now producing, he's, you know, and releasing it music independently. It's just really cool. So I'm proud of him. Lydia Caesar's EP, Summer Vacation, that finally was released. Um, it was produced by my team entirely, Beat Bangers, and um, it was released on Soul Spasm. So definitely go on iTunes, get that, 99 cents, um, or 4.99 I think, for the whole uh, EP. Ashi's album, If I, was released on Sony Music Japan and features um, the song Undisputed, which me and my team produced. Um, let's see, what else is there, what else is there? Uh, did live production for Jonte Moaning, and we got a chance to get in the studio actually for uh, to record and to write and record music material for his his debut album. Um, John, that was really cool because Jonte got a big, huge following in Japan. You know, he's doing all these shows here and all over. So I did all the live production for his shows. So when you see him do his set live, he has dancers and stuff, but no band. Yeah, I did the music for that. You know what I'm saying? Me and my team. Shout out to my team, B Bangers. Also, the release of Jimmy Rain's long-awaited album, Pretty Girl. Me and my team got a chance to produce um, this song called Out the Door. I was really excited about that. You know, I, I made a blog about that 
whole experience and you know it was just great so out the door you can get that on iTunes right now on the album Pretty Girl by Jimmy Rain another great thing was um, Jay Hype um, produced his single Amazing and you know Jay Hype's a, a good friend of mine he's a singer songwriter producer uh, he's worked with some a lot of people in the industry like Justin Bieber and Lee Carr and um, Brandon Hines and Sammy and he's a successful producer and he's becoming an artist like myself and I got a chance to support him you know, and it was just felt really good because the record's called Amazing. It's just, it's awesome. I made a really cool campaign full of just beautiful women. And I think people really got a chance to enjoy the different, um, not only this song, but this, the marketing you know, strategy that I came up with to promote the song. So that was cool. Um, also, my blog, Hear No Evil, um, www.stephnasty.wordpress.com. Uh, it's a, just a, a blog where I've just been expressing myself, telling my story sharing my experiences in the music industry, and it's just been really successful. Um, got a lot of views, and, um, you know, I'm proud of that. I started my nonprofit organization, Music, M-U-S-Y-C, um, which stands for Music Used to Strengthen Youth Creatively. I'm really proud of that, and I'm just looking forward to just doing amazing things with my organization. And, you know, I'm excited, man. A lot of great things, a lot, a lot, a lot of amazing things are going on, and this is just 2010, you know. When I look into 2009 year end in review, I w it was really, I was excited at that point, you know. So looking at this 2010 year end review, I'm sure 2011 will be even more amazing. I'm just going to continue to take my career and take my life in my own hands, pray and just have faith in what God has in store for me and just continue to stay focused and driven and just, you know, be serving to people. Like that's what I do. I serve people. And I have, a, you know, a pure heart and I have good intentions and I work very hard, very, 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 very hard. <laughs> so, yeah, man, just wish me luck. Bless you all. And I'll see you all in 2011, man. You know what I'm saying? This is my year end review. Peace.